My dear friends, we are all familiar with the saying, united we stand, divided we fall. And we see that in every aspect of our life, be it in our household, be it in our workplace, unity is something that is cherished and something that is essential if we are to lead a good life and to do our daily work properly. And for us to be united, we see that there are various factors which have to be taken into account. We need to tolerate one another. At the same time, we need to complement one another. Now, we see that as humans, all of us have different temperaments. We have our own likes, dislikes, our preferences. And therefore, sometimes we see that for everybody to be on the same page, it becomes difficult. But today, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity, we see that we have a perfect example of how to live a harmonious life united in love. And this is done and shown to us by the Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Spirit. All of them are distinct, but they are united in love. They have different roles, but they have the same mission. And therefore we see that once our goal is clear, once our mission is clear, then it becomes easy for everyone to contribute in their own particular way in order to reach that goal. We see that God the Father was entrusted primarily the work of creation. Jesus came with the purpose to redeem everyone. At the time of the incarnation, when the world was in chaos, there was confusion, chaos, violence. And therefore they required somebody to volunteer, to go down and to redeem humankind. And it was Jesus who volunteered to lay down his life and to redeem everyone. And we know the role of the Holy Spirit to guide each and every one of us so that we may bring to completion the work that Jesus began. Now, in today's first reading, we come across another important aspect of our lives. We see that sometimes things tend to get monotonous for us. We do the same thing every day and sometimes we say, okay, if I skip today, it's okay. I can do it some other day. And the same thing may also happen to us in prayer. Same thing may also happen to us in keeping the teachings of the Lord. And this is what exactly happened also to the people of Israel. And therefore Moses had to remind them, see the wonders that the Lord has done in your lives. And therefore it is your duty in order to obey the commands and keep the teachings of the Lord. And the same applies to us also. Sometimes we may fall prey to various temptations and therefore we may feel that it is okay to compromise on certain commandments, on certain teachings of Jesus Christ. But at that time, we need to remind ourselves that if we are to be united in Jesus, if we are to be rooted in his love, then we need to keep his teachings and his commandments. And today's second reading tells us that all of us are indeed children of God. And being children of God, we also have the duty of reflecting the teachings of God, of reflecting His love, of reflecting His mercy. And it is only when we do this can we truly call ourselves Christians in the right sense of the term. And the same message is also echoed in today's gospel passage. We see Jesus giving the disciples the command, go and proclaim the good news. Now towards the end of the Eucharist, we hear, go forth, the mass is ended, go and proclaim Christ to others. And therefore it is a duty of each and every one of us to proclaim Christ to others. And this proclamation is not restricted only to the word. It is restricted also, it also includes our actions, how we deal with one another. And we see that when we truly 
follow a particular model. We like to imitate that particular personality. And the same thing should also apply for us. When we imitate Jesus, our actions, our words should be like that of him. Our words and actions should radiate his teachings, his message of love, mercy and peace. And therefore today as we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity, let us ask the Lord to give us this grace that first and foremost we may be united in our workplace, in our home. And secondly, we ask for the grace that we too may proclaim Christ to others through our words and through our deeds so that indeed we may help Christ to bring the work that he began to completion. Amen.